Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So I'm doing another painting with my double split cup. Um, I asked for suggestions on the last video of what I should do next with this cup. And one of the ones that I got, which I really liked, was doing just red, yellow, and blue, the primary colors. So that's what we're going to do, and that should theoret theoretically make us a nice rainbow. Now I am almost out of yellow, so hopefully I have enough here. Definitely should have enough red and blue and I'll probably put some white on the canvas just to make sure I have enough paint this is just a 10 by 10 canvas though so I don't need all that much paint and I'm going for equal amounts of each color All right, so we have what looks to be pretty equal parts of the red, yellow, and blue. And I'm gonna go ahead and just put some white down in the middle of the canvas, which will also help us get some more colors. All right, here we go, I'm pretty excited. Now it's kind of funny because the goal of this cup is to keep them separate, <laughs> which you can see that it is actually doing a really great job of that. If we put these all in one cup like we normally would, they would have mixed so much more. So we might actually, if you were going for a rainbow, you wouldn't want to use the split cup. All right, but they should mix a bit as I tilt. So that will be cool. But this is going to be a very bright primary colored painting, it looks like. All right. I'll go a little bit more back this way. Okay. Well, that was definitely an interesting experiment to see what happens if you put literally just one color in each of the spots and they stay quite separate, it looks like. Um, the next one that I'm going to be doing is I'm gonna do some white in the middle and then warm colors on one side and cool colors on the other side, which I think will be amazing. So I'm gonna let this sit here for a minute and then we'll do our close up. All right, so not too much movement here. Let's go ahead and do our close-up. So here we have the lower right-hand corner. I mean, we definitely did get the yellow and blue mixing, but you can tell that that's still very yellow up here where you have the red, which did get a little bit of the red and the blue mixing as well, making some kind of purplish red up there. And then the blue, didn't really get any orange, and that white seems to have done nothing. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. Stay tuned for the next um, color experiment here with this cup with the warm colors and cool colors. And, uh, you know, if you haven't gotten your cup yet, definitely check that out. I have very, very, very limited stock. I'm making them as fast as I possibly can and working on figuring out ways to make them faster. So check out the link in the description. There will be some, but they will go very quick. And I will see you all next time.